It is a gruesome case of alleged torture with a Vancouver Island connection, and it has captured the attention of the nation. Now, four months after Dustin LaFortune was starved and burned and eventually dumped outside a hospital in Regina, police in Edmonton have made an arrest. Tonight, his family on Vancouver Island is speaking out about the crime. Our Eric Thompson has the story. The case remains shrouded in mystery. How and why did a healthy 245-pound Dustin LaFortune end up in hospital, weighing just 87 pounds? Wearing the wounds of torture so severe, he was almost unrecognizable, barely alive. Police now believe they're one step closer to solving the horrific crime. The Edmonton Tactical Unit descending on this home last night, arresting the prime suspect. Definitely a shocker for sure. He'd been renting this room to Dustin Paxton for the last four months. Yesterday, a warrant was issued for the 30-year-old. Paxton is facing charges of assault and forcible confinement. He was LaFortune's friend, business partner, and roommate. The two had been living at this Calgary address. Then, last January, LaFortune disappeared. Three months later, the 26-year-old was dropped off at a Regina hospital. Police in that city soon discovered another apartment rented in LaFortune's name, news to his family. In Nanaimo, LaFortune's oldest brother says his family is glad Paxton is off the streets. He was overjoyed, tears uh, streaming down. I heard this from my mother. They, I haven't spoken to him because they've kind of clamped him down a little bit because of the ensuing hoopla that this is going to create for him. LaFortune's family lobbied the public over the summer for more information to determine why Dustin was tortured and starved. Ryan LaFortune says his brother has learned of Paxton's arrest and is incredibly pleased. It signifies the beginning of the end. Now that he's caught, it means there's a light at the end of the tunnel for our family for this because we can move on from here. The extent of LaFortune's injuries were so bad it took him a month before he could speak with police. The motive is still unclear, even to relatives, though they are elated Paxton is now in custody. I, I'm ecstatic. I, I'm, I'm now not feeling so down about, you know, the whole process. You know, now, now it started, now it's all up to the judicial system. Marcel LaFortune is on the phone with his cousin every day. Is there anything that you want to say, how you're feeling? I feel pretty good. Dustin LaFortune is set to be released from hospital next week. Physically, he's much improved. Mentally, it's unlikely he ever will. Among his injuries, brain damage. In Victoria, Eric Thompson, A News. Tonight, police in Calgary say the suspect, Dustin Paxton, had been living in Edmonton under an assumed name for the past four months. He is facing a list of charges, including aggravated assault and forcible confinement. Tonight, police say Paxton may have other alleged victims, and there are parallel, inve parallel investigations taking place involving individuals who have now come forward.